this video, we are going to look at the structures of several aliphatic alcohols to determine how many distinct proton resonances are present and the relative ratios of those resonances. In methanol, there are two types of hydrogen. One, shown in yellow, is the hydroxyl hydrogen. The other three are methyl hydrogens connected directly to the one carbon atom. Therefore, in NMR, you would see a three to one ratio of the red hydrogens to the one yellow hydrogen. we have three different types of hydrogen. One, the yellow hydrogen is the hydroxyl hydrogen, which we'll find as a singlet because of exchange. There are two red hydrogens, which are directly attached to the alpha carbon. These we expect to be shifted far downfield because of the effect of the very electronegative oxygen. The third type of hydrogen is a methyl hydrogen, which is shown in black. You would therefore have integrated values for the proton resonances in ratios of 3 to 2 to 1, 3 of the black methyls, 2 of the methylene hydrogens that are directly connected to the alpha carbon, and 1 hydroxyl hydrogen shown in yellow. In one propanol, we see that there are four distinct types of hydrogen. The hydroxyl hydrogen, shown in yellow, we see the two red hydrogens directly attached to the alpha carbon, and we would expect these to be shifted downfield. There are two more methylene hydrogens attached to the second carbon atom. And then finally, there are three green methyl carbons attached to the third carbon in the molecule. The ratios are therefore three to two to two to one. In 2-propanol, isopropanol, we have three distinct hydrogen resonances. One is the hydroxyl hydrogen, shown in yellow, which you would see as a singlet because of exchange. We would see the red hydrogen directly attached to the alpha carbon and therefore shifted downfield because of the effect of the very electronegative element oxygen. And then we have six methyl hydrogens, which are symmetrically equivalent because the left side of the molecule is the mirror image of the right side. So therefore, these six hydrogens are chemically equivalent, and we end up with ratios of the areas under the curves of six to one to one. You know, we have five distinct types of hydrogen. One, as always, for alcohols is the hydroxyl hydrogen, shown in yellow and recognizable as a singlet in the spectrum. We have two hydrogens attached to the alpha carbon, and we'd expect these resonance to be shifted to the left downfield at a high chemical shift. We have two more methylene hydrogens attached to the second carbon. 
we have two methylene hydrogens shown in green attached to the third carbon. And then last but not least, we have three blue methyl hydrogens attached to the fourth carbon in the chain. This therefore gives us relative ratios of the intensities of the signals of 3 to 2 to 2 to 1 for 1 butanol. We again have five distinct hydrogen signals, one the hydroxyl hydrogen shown in yellow and recognizable as a singlet in the spectrum. We have one red hydrogen attached to the alpha carbon and therefore shift to downfield because of the effect of oxygen. Now notice if we have a primary alcohol that is not methanol, there will be two such hydrogens, whereas in a secondary alcohol, as in 2-butanol, we have just one of these red hydrogens that shifted downfield. We also have two methylene hydrogens shown in black. We have three green methyl hydrogens on the first carbon and three blue methyl hydrogens on the fourth carbon. Notice that in 2-butanol that the two sets of methyl hydrogens are distinct because we do not have a mirror plane between the second and third carbon atoms of the chain. We therefore have ratios of 3 to 3 to 2 to 1 to 1 of the intensities of the proton signals for the proton NMR of 2-butanol. methyl, one propanol, we have four different signals. One is the yellow hydroxyl hydrogen, which we recognize as a singlet. There are two red hydrogens directly attached to the alpha carbon, which again is our clue that we are dealing with a primary alcohol and not a secondary alcohol. We have one hydrogen shown in black attached to the second carbon of the chain. And then we have six green methyl hydrogens, which are symmetry equivalent because of rotation about the carbon-carbon bond, which leads to the interchange of the two methyl groups. We therefore have relative ratios of the intensities of the signals of six to two to one to one for two methyl one propanol. Two methyl two propanol, otherwise known as tertiary butanol. We only have two distinct hydrogen signals. One, as always, is the yellow hydroxyl hydrogen that makes it an alcohol and recognizable as a singlet. And all nine methyl hydrogens shown in black are symmetry equivalent because a C3 rotation, a 120 degree rotation, about one of the carbon-carbon bonds will interchange the carbons to which they're attached and the attached hydrogen atoms. The relative ratios for these two signals are therefore 9 to 1 for 2-methyl 2 propanol. Pentanol has 
six distinct hydrogen signals, and D. Symmetry equivalent hydrogen atoms are shown in the same colors, and we end up with relative ratios of three to two to two to two to two to one for one pentanol. Pentanol also has six distinct hydrogen signals. A helpful way to distinguish it from one pentanol is to look at the single red hydrogen that is attached to the alpha carbon, the same carbon that has the hydroxyl group, and it is shifted downfield because of the deshielding effect of the very electronegative element oxygen. Otherwise, the ratios of equivalent hydrogen signals are 3 to 3 to 2 to 2 to 1 to 1, and the equivalent hydrogens are shown in the same color. Again, notice that the methyl group at the left, shown in gray, and the methyl group to the right, shown in green, are not interchangeable because there is no mirror plane in the molecule through the third carbon. Three pentanol has only four distinct hydrogen signals because of the fact that the left side of the molecule is the mirror image of the right side of the molecule if we draw a mirror plane through the third carbon. We have one signal for the alcohol hydrogen shown in yellow. We have one red hydrogen, which we know will be shifted downfield because of the effect of oxygen. The methylene Hydrogens on both sides of carbon-3, shown in black, are symmetry equivalent because of a mirror plane. And the six methyl hydrogens, shown in green, are likewise mirror images of each other and therefore chemically identical. The ratios here are 6 to 4 to 1 to 1. Three methyl one butanol, we have five different types of hydrogen. We have the alcohol hydrogen shown in yellow. We have two red hydrogens, which we know will be shifted downfield because of the effect of oxygen. And the fact that there are two of these shows us that we have a primary alcohol. Curiously, the two methyl group hydrogens, all shown in blue, are symmetrically equivalent because of a mirror plane running through the second carbon from the left, the carbon at which the branching takes place, which also would be the number three carbon relative to the hydroxyl oxygen. The ratios are six to two to two to one to one for this alcohol. methyl 2-butanol. We have four types of hydrogen. Notice that there are no red hydrogens. Hydrogen is directly attached to the alpha carbon in this molecule. Therefore, we won't have any of the hydrogens that are shifted very far to the left downfield because of the effect of oxygen. Notice also that the six methyl hydrogens shown in blue um, are symmetrically equivalent because of a mirror plane running through carbon number two of the molecule. On the other hand, there are three black methyl hydrogens to the right-hand side, and those are distinct from the other six blue methyl hydrogens because there is no symmetry uh, operation which interchanges those. The ratios are therefore six to three to two to one. I thank you very much for your attention. Feel free to stop the video at different points to 
review certain sections and have a good one.